The number two House Republican, Steve Scalise, is in remission from his cancer and is returning to Congress after finishing treatment. It's also, politically at least, welcome news for the House Speaker Mike Johnson because House Republicans will have one more vote in their pocket. Now, tomorrow night, potentially somewhere at around this time, the GOP will need that extra vote, just that one vote, as it tries for a second time to impeach the Homeland Security Secretary, Alejandro Mayorkas. Last week, when that first attempt failed, the vote was tied. Joining us now is one of the three House Republicans who voted against impeaching Mayorkas. He is the Republican from California, Congressman Tom McClintock. Congressman, thanks for being back here on the Hill. Appreciate the time. The vote is tomorrow. You were one of three House Republicans who said Alejandro Mayorkas should not be impeached. Is that how you're going to vote tomorrow, or have you changed your mind? Well, the Constitution hasn't changed since last week, so my vote's not going to change. These are the same reasons I vigorously opposed the, the sham impeachments of Donald Trump. It, it dumbs down the, the standard for impeachment. It assures it's going to become a constant fixture in our national life whenever the White House is held by one party and, and, and the Congress by the other. Um, you know, look, Mayorkas is guilty of maladministration on a cosmic scale, but that's not grounds for impeachment. We know that because the founders specifically considered it and rejected it. Instead, they chose the very narrow grounds of high crimes and misdemeanors, actual crimes using the office. Uh, you know, they, they, they didn't want policy and political disputes to be, be turned into, into impeachments. Describe the pressure to me, Congressman, from those on your side of the aisle to flip the vote. <laughs> and has, has, well, actually, and actually, what's it been like for Mike Johnson? Uh, uh, um, Mike called me. I explained my reasons. He was very respectful of them. And that was it. I have not had any pressure put on me. Uh, maybe it's because, uh, well, as Churchill said, they can't kick me around. I'm not kickable. <laughs> OK, uh, Mike Gallagher, your your colleague, Republican from Wisconsin, seen as a rising star at one point within the Republican Party. Like you, he voted against the impeachment. And unlike you, over the weekend, he announced that he's not going to be seeking re-election. Have you, for, first off, what do you make of the decision from Mike Gallagher? And secondly, have you given any thought that, you know what, maybe Mike Gallagher is doing the right thing and that's <laughs> the path forward for someone well, like yourself? No, you know, uh, uh, Winston Churchill was once asked that question and his response was, I, I fight for my corner and I leave when the pub closes. I was uh, devastated by, uh, by by Mike's uh, announcement uh, uh, because I think he is a, a very capable and principled individual. Uh, I don't agree with him on everything, but uh, but you have to take his opinions very very seriously because he 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 thinks them through. That's exactly the kind of and, and he stands by. And I think that's exactly the kind of person we need more of in the House of Representatives, not less of. Do you think you'll get GOP support? Do you think President Trump will will support you? Um, well, I mean, uh, he supported me in the past. I, I certainly uh, will support him in this election. I'll be honest with you. Wasn't my first choice. Wasn't even my second choice. But I can sure as hell tell the difference between a fire and a fireman. And if a fireman's trying to, to save my house from burning down, I really don't care if from time to time he behaves like a bit of a jerk. We'll leave it there. Congressman McClintock, uh, thank you for joining us and for being here on the Hill. Appreciate the time, sir. We'll see you soon.